I'm Chris, I'm lead programmer on Bionicle Heroes. As a programmer, um, my job is to um, manage the resources to try and get the most out of the machine at any one time to make the best game possible with the given assets that we can um, and to give the tools to the artists and the animators to enable them to do the best job that they can possibly do. Um, we also deal with things like the physics in a game, the um, AI to try and make the behaviour fun to play. Um, things like the boss levels, the, the particular placing of creatures on a level and to make the level work when you come to a door, the door opens. To enable us to work on the game mechanics and the gameplay, um, we have a piece of technology called the Game Engine. Um, this acts as a sort of common interface to the hardware. It enables us to just worry about the game while that worries about things like accessing the memory card, accessing the disc, um, accessing the, the joy pads, um, rendering a particular character or rendering the world and that gives us the time to make the best game we can. On a day-to-day -day basis uh, my job as a programmer varies quite a lot from the beginning of the project to the end of the project. At the beginning um, I'm the architect and try and work out how we're going to implement the design and get the most out of the console at the same time. In the middle, we deal with actually implementing these systems, making these things happen. Um, we've suddenly got a load of artwork that appears and we've got to try and get that into the game and make sure that everything works. As we progress towards the end of the game, um, the job is uh, fixing any problems that maybe haven't been thought of before um, and applying the final polish and tweaks that are necessary to take the game to the full production standard you'd expect to see when you see it in the, in the shops. We have a team of five programmers working on Bionicle Heroes. Um, two of them are working on the levels, specifically trying to put all the creatures in the right places, make the levels work, the doors open at the correct places, the puzzles work. Um, we have one that works on bosses and the underlying artificial intelligence, so he makes the Borok do what a Borok does, he makes the Visorak do what the Visorak do. If someone wanted to become a games programmer, um, then I'd suggest starting on the internet. There are many sites detailing all aspects of game programming, from AI to the more technical engine side. Um, and there are freeware sites where you can take someone else's code and you can start modifying it and making it your own. And um, from there you can progress to maybe joining an online team and performing um, you know, a, a, one of a variety of games. And um, this is great when you come to you know, apply for a job. You know, what better than to have you know, a game you've already written um, with a really good visual effects editor that enables the artists to put some fantastic 3D effects into the system um, with almost no limits in what they can accomplish in doing that. With a great AI system that enables each of the characters to have their specific traits represented in game um, and to enable that to be brought through in a fun way. It has been difficult to get such large amounts of creatures um, along with such large levels all working together at once. A specific example of this is on the, the beach level in one of the, the water areas um, where we've got 15 creatures attacking you, we've got reflections in the puddles going on and we've got quite a nice vista. There's such a lot to draw and such a lot to happen, um, but to keep the game frantic and action-packed is something that we've had to, to pull off and, and, and it looks great for it. It's difficult to say what my proudest part of Bionicle Heroes is. I suppose really it's the marriage of everything together. Um, the fantastic graphics, the animation, all of it coming together at once on the console using the best effects we can possibly get in there at once. Um, having all that occur at the same time, that's what I'm most proud of and I think that's what will make a great game.